Hello guys, I hope you are not as good as I am. In this video, you will learn how to create your own grabbable objects for VR and MR games. This is our previous project. We have the movement interaction scene. And I'm gonna do a copy of this just because if we mess it up, fix it. So I'm gonna do Ctrl D. And as you can see, we have movement and interactions one. Okay, so I'm gonna change the name, movement, and custom grabbable objects. Double click, save, and as you can see, the name has changed very well. Now we need a 3D model so we can use in our scene. For this project, I'm gonna use this gun. It's in the asset store and link in the description. Click on add to my assets, log in in your account. There you go. That's a that's a pretty neat uh, 3D model actually. Now open in Unity, open in Unity Editor, download. Now import. Import. Close. You will see a new folder. In this case, it's Knockabot, Modern Guns. It's got prefabs. You can choose Handgun Silver in this case and drag it to your as scene. And as you can see, it's right there. So before doing anything else, in the hierarchy, right click, create empty. I'm going to change the name to root grab gun in transform right click and reset so this is gonna be zero 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 in position we need a few more things inside this right click in the root grab gun create empty and this one is gonna be visuals my gun the position has been changed now it's in zero 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 and I'm gonna drag it inside visuals. Okay, close this. Now again in root grab gun, right click, create empty, empty, colliders, select colliders, control D. This one is gonna be hand grab, control D, controller grab, and finally, yeah, I know it's a lot of copy. And a lot of empty objects I know. S F X. Control S to save or changes. Now that we have our gun and every single component inside, let's go back to root grab gun and let's add a couple components. The first one is gonna be a rigid body. And the next is gonna be a script name grabbable. To configure this there are two options. The first one is just to use kinematic that means that it's gonna be like the first cubes that we created. They are gonna be just static or use gravity. This is like the second uh, cubes that we created that they are affected by gravity. In my case um, I want to do something a little more realistic so I want to use gravity. Uh, collision detection continues. Enable transfer on second hand selection. Max grab points. Um, minus one means that there's infinite grab points, so I can grab the gun from any different angle that I want. Now let's go to visuals. Open this. And this is the 3D model of the gun. Here we have the different parts of the of the gun. And right here, I'm gonna add another component. The name is Mesh Collider. Enable convex. And as you can see, this is gonna create a, a collider automatically. Right now, because of the shape of the gun, it's a little weird. So um, I'm not gonna use that, honestly. I'm gonna do a custom one in the next component. 
So let's uh, remove this component. Let's go to colliders, add component, box collider. Be careful, um, don't add a box collider to D because that's not going to work. And as you can see, um, it's just like a, a plane, so that won't work. Be careful with that. So, as I said, don't use Box Collider 2D, use Box Collider. This is a 3D dimensional object. As you can see, here is like a, some sort of cube. Enable this a little button and let's shape it the way we want. As you can see, I've just added two box collider to this um, collider game object. Now let's go to hand grab and let's add the following component. Hand grab interactable. This will allow me to actually grab the object. As you can see, um, there is different fingers and is using the rigid body and it's gonna use also the root as you can see also um, there is a space for every single finger and there are two options all release or any selected we're gonna cover these in future videos but basically um, you can customize what fingers are you use also we have palm grab rules uh, we have thumb, index, middle, ring, pinking, so basically the, the same fingers. And for our purposes, I'm going to leave this like that. And we will, we may customize this in future videos. Now select controller, grab, add component, grab interactable. Okay, so we have this configuration. I'm going to leave everything as it is, so let me check Intersector, selecting interactions to one, both of them And we need to make two reference, to point of and rigid body I'm going to grab the root grab gun that has those elements And I'm going to drag to pointable element and rigid body so I can have those reference now in the scene, I want to add some sort of table so I can place the gun there. In the hierarchy, right click, 3D object, cube. And I'm going to shape this cube so I can have some sort of table. I'm going to select the root grab gun and change the position so it is at the top of my table. Before testing our game, it's a good idea to double check that everything is in order in visuals, colliders, and hand grab. In the case of colliders, remember to set the layer in grabbable. If you don't remember how to do this, watch the previous video where I show you how to configure the layers for this project. Now let's test it out. We are in virtual reality. I'm gonna grab the gun with my left controller, as you can see it's not pushing me out, right controller, I can grab it from different points, that's awesome, perfect, I'm gonna remove this one because sometimes they get in the way, and I'm gonna use my right hand, and as you can see it's working, perfect, awesome, gravity works, and simultaneous hands and controllers are working and this little guy is in the middle but that's okay
Oh.